Wow, actually nervous for this video. So you all know I don't cover phones that often, right? But there are two things that I do daily. Use phones and game. Hence today's video, a gaming phone. And that being the new gaming phone from Red Magic, the 7S Pro. We have the lower end version here, 12 gigabytes of RAM with 256 gigabytes of storage. You can get it also in 18 and 512. As far as in your box, of course, you can get your phone. In the higher end version, you have multiple of the colors with the clear backdrop, which looks gorgeous. I love the white one. I wish that's the one I would have got. Anyways, we're talking about this. In your box, you get the case here. There's actually a screen protector already applied onto it. You get your charger and then your USB-C cable. So again, I'm not going to sit here and ramble off a whole bunch of tech specs. I'm going to talk about it in my hand. And in my hand right here, this phone feels incredibly premium and I really like the style of it with the camo on the back the glossy back there and I have not cleaned this phone or anything I've been using it constantly every day gaming and just daily use and it really doesn't look grimy you'd expect it to look a lot more grimy being a glossy phone now as far as the build you got the aluminum edge right there your glass top no joke again it feels as premium as one of my iPhones top of the phone here you have a 3.5 port and you have a speaker. Flip it over to the bottom of the phone, USB-C port, another speaker, and there's your SIM card tray. Now up on the top, as if you're holding it in your game, you have two 520 hertz touch triggers up there, little shoulder triggers, and they are fantastic for game. We're gonna talk a lot about that coming up. You have your volume rocker right here, then your power button or your shutdown button. Coming over to the backside, you have this gaming switch. Again, we're gonna talk a lot about these gaming features on here that really play a great role in this phone. Now taking a look at the weight real quick, let me go on power up the scale. We're gonna go on and slap this bad boy down here and see what we get. We're gonna get 238.8 grams. Now let's go on and check it up to an iPhone 12 Pro Max. 237 grams, so pretty much right there with the iPhone. Now getting the iPhone 13 Pro, 183 grams. And just showing you a quick size comparison stacked up to my iPhone 12 Pro Max, you can see it sticks out just a little bit more than the iPhone, so it is slightly longer, but as far as the width, just about spot on right there. Again, the back kind of rolls a little bit more on the Red Magic. Again, the iPhone is pretty much just a flat square right there. But as far as ergonomics with the Red Magic, magic in the hands it feels perfect the size your fingers wrap around it bam and you're right up there on the touch triggers so yeah it is a big phone and it is a heavy phone but in my world i just class that as premium it feels again like a solid unit in the hand now one thing i really liked about this phone talking about using it daily is the 5000 milliamp battery and a 65 watt fast charger being a gaming phone right You've used them before, even with your iPhones, right? You use them for gaming and that battery just drops and you gotta sit there and wait for it to charge. This guy is also a GAN charge as well. I covered that in one of my recent videos, how it kind of just tracks the power going to it, you know, so it doesn't burn out your battery or anything like that. That's a whole different subject, right? But as far as the battery life, it lasted long and it charged fast. It lasted longer than my iPhone. And again, I use this daily. This was my work phone. So I'm calling, emailing, uh, checking YouTube and gaming on it extensively, probably using it more than my iPhone, which would be my personal device, you know, and this lasted longer. And when I charged it, it was always ready to go with full juice. It was just such a good peace of mind as far as again, using it daily. And again, with that aspect of battery life, I had a fantastic experience with it because it was always ready for me. Now, one thing that's a little bit of a stinker for me is there's no wireless charging. Talking about daily life using the device, I utilize wireless charging, especially in my car, just to set it down and I know I'm good to go. I don't know if that's because of all the heat dissipation and stuff they have in this, being a gaming phone. I don't know, it's just something that I really like. Now, as far as the camera, you got a 64 megapixel on the back. On the front, you have a hidden under display 16 megapixel, and this camera is absolutely fantastic. You have so many different settings. Let me go on and fire it up. As you see, the touch sensitivity is so fast. You have photo, swing it over here to pro, and you have so many different settings to choose from. It is amazing. You have video, 
over here, night mode in portrait. I'll go and throw up some photos up here right now. And again, I'm not sitting here bashing my iPhone. I love my iPhone, but the photos on the Red Magic blew the iPhone away just so natural, so crisp. I can actually bring the phone closer to a product and snap a picture when the iPhone has to be twice the distance away. It's just, again, as far as the camera on this phone, it is phenomenal. The customization options within it are amazing. So there we go. That's our core daily life stuff within the phone here. And again, like I stated, I'm not sitting here bashing iPhone. I love my iPhone. I love them, you know what I mean? But that's why I wanna give you that core experience because talking about something I used for so long, such a daily thing, talking about how does the basic core of a gaming phone stack up for daily life. So hopefully that summed it up for you. But of course, it's a gaming phone. So let's talk about gaming. So some of the great things on this phone as far as being gaming is why you can add some of these widgets on there to change the display up to that 120 hertz 90 and 60 just by a simple press or slide of the button right there bam and you can adjust your display you have the fan which you can fire up here now this version doesn't have the rgb one but you still got the fan right over here on the back side you can probably hear it in the camera it is not dead silent, but it's not loud and annoying by any means. You can actually feel it blown out onto your hand right there. So you can turn that off right over there. But the thing I really like is the gaming button right over here. So I'm going to flick that on, bam, and it's going to come right up into the Red Dragon or the Red Magic gaming device here, which you can switch it over to any of your games, tell you how long you played them, what you've done with them. And then as far as different stuff where you can record your game, game lobbies, yada, 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 all that stuff. But what I want to do is get into a game right here. I'm going to fire up Diablo. This is one of my favorite mobile games right here. And I want to show you some stuff within here as it's loading up. So the game's loading. I just clicked it right there. So you're seeing how fast it's loading the fan automatically comes on by itself once you go into that gaming mode over there. We're loading up, checking for updates, starting game. Again, we're doing this live so you can see how long it takes to load up a game like Diablo. Bam, start to play. Tap to play. I'm tapping to play. There we go. I was tapping in the wrong area. <laughs> Let's get my character up. Enter world. Bam, and we should be loading in. 100%. Don't give me a stinking ad. There we go. So we are loaded into the game. And right out the gate, the screen, whoops, I'm hitting those. As you saw how sensitive those top triggers were, I stink and love them. But the screen and the colors, it's butter smooth, butter crisp. It looks so phenomenal. But other than that, before we start playing, I want to show you this. This is real cool. So you can swipe, swipe again, bam, and you pull up all these gaming specs over here where you can change your, uh, your screen refresh rate over there. You got the fan, you got recording. This is pretty cool over here. You got info, which bam, so I press that info button over there. Let's get out of here. Now I can pull this up and you can move this wherever you want. And that's cool. It shows you your FPS, your fan speed, your battery life, all that stuff right there. And the cool thing is say if you just want to see your FPS, just press right there, bam, hold it down and you can move it wherever you want. I really like that. If you want to kick over there, to just watch your uh, fan speed right there. Oh, that's really cool. Your processor, your battery life. I really like having that option, just showing you your specs right there and you can put it wherever you want. Come over here, bam, it is off. And you can control your basic stuff as far as you know, your calls, your messages, see what your phone's actually doing up there. Put it in rise, balance, or eco mode. And then all of your basic stuff over there, like your control panel, adjusting everything by a fingertip, I stink and love when I'm gaming. But now talking about gaming, right? And I'm in Diablo right here. Again, I'm absolutely loving this game. I'm playing so much. I'm playing it on my iPhone and on the Red Magic phone here. So looking at me playing, I'm just gonna go along here. Let me activate my quest so I know where to go. Unfortunately, this game is only at 60 hertz, right? But one thing I did notice with this game, and I'm going to play it live right here with you guys and see if it'll come up. I did get some stuttering on this. And it would drop down to 40. You know what? Let me go and throw this on. And hopefully, I don't know if the camera will be able to. We got our info up. Let's go to our FPS. And I'm going to put it right here in the, uh, come on, right here in the middle. So hopefully the camera can watch that right there. So we're getting 60, which is what this game tops out at. It would, here we go, we got an enemy. You'll see some stutters every now and then. And it just kind of got annoying, definitely in, you know what, let me get some volume on here so you guys can actually hear it. There we go. Oh, not mute, not mute, come on. Oh dear, oh dear. 
Oh dear. All right. So there you go. Did you see that stutter right there? It just froze for a second. I can't keep an eye on the FPS thing because I'm over here battling, but let me put it there. Maybe you can see it better. And it's just, it's just here and there. It's not constant. Oh dear, heal up, heal up, heal up, heal up. All right, let's get this guy. There we go. But as far as the touch sensitivity of the uh, device itself is fantastic. The triggers up there are amazing. The sound as you're hearing is great. The fan, I can still hear while I'm just gaming. You can probably hear it right there, even over the uh, the sound and the music. But again, it's not deal breaking. It's definitely passable whenever you're gaming. The thing that drove me nuts, and I'm not sure, I adjusted my settings, lowered my settings to low. Right now, my settings are on high. Tested on the highest, on the lowest, and I still get that random stuttering, which is very weird because I'd never got that on my iPhone. I don't know why it did that over here. But it's only a certain occasion, so I can never really nail it down to, oh, hey, it's this, or oh, hey, it's that. It would just happen on its own randomly. And I think I'm just getting wrapped up into this game, so I'm just talking constantly here so I can keep on playing while I'm filming. So my experience playing Diablo, again, my favorite mobile gaming right now, it was a mixed bag. It looked so good. It was fun to play, especially with the phone and the tap triggers up there, responsive. But that stutter, which I can never nail down, ruined it for me, and I didn't want to play Diablo on this phone. Diablo. Diablo. Am I saying it wrong? Now let's go to fire up Call of Duty Mobile right here. This game, by the way, performed flawlessly on this phone. No stutters, no delays, no hiccups, no nothing. It looks gorgeous. The touch triggers are fantastic. They make this game so much better to play with the touch triggers rather than having to tap here to fire and aim down sights and stuff. Again, we are loading up the game right here just so you can see how it's performing. We're loading it up together. See how quick it loads up. Of course, we're gonna get a stinking mobile gaming ad and another and another. All right, where are we gonna go? Where is, not tournament, multiplayer, fire up this, team deathmatch, start. And again, I just want to show you this whole thing load up from start to finish so you guys can see it as well. Hearing that fan? Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, so perfectly touch sensitive, guys. Oh, jeez, we were just loading. I thought I was playing already. Okay, here we go. Serious time. Serious time here. No. Which loadout to wall? I'll take that. All right. So I want you to just look at the screen and kind of watch it for... So you're seeing how butter smooth it is right here. Let's see, let me see. Now what's our screen? I think this game only gets, yeah, it only gets 60. But let's go on and, f where's the enemies? Come on, where are they? There he is. Oh. Okay, so as you're seeing how, there's, there's a guy right, let me get this guy first. I climbed on that stinking car and it threw my aiming off. All right, let me get this UAV up. And I want to show you guys. All right, let me get back here and hide. Okay. So one thing I want to show you is about that end-to-end, -end, the full screen right here. We talked about it before. Now, of course, you don't got that little lip or that cutout for the camera or anything like that, which I absolutely love. But one thing you're probably noticing is the edge of the screen rolling around. And you see my buttons. Now, you can move all these, right? But you got the buttons. And in a lot of games, it just rolls it around to the edge. Being a full screen, it cuts some of it off. Worse in other games than some. Call of Duty, again, it's not horrible. But some games are worse. And one of those games being real racing. As you see down here on the bottom, it just rolls everything off. Same with the top up there. I mean, is it something that's deal breaking? No, it's not. But it's something you notice when you're staring at the screen so long. Like, yeah, you love the full screen, but kind of me personally, I wish it was sharp and squared off on the ends so my screen constantly flowed. I'm going to uh, load up a race right here. 
And this game does go at 120 FPS. And I have it right up there just so you can see. And wow, it is so stinking butter smooth. Let's go on and get a game in right here. FPS right up there so you can see it again. We'll get at Let me crank the volume here. Touch triggers. I love the touch triggers. Yeah, I got auto braking on. I have auto braking on. Hearing those speakers. Now the Red Magic 7S Pro, the version we talked about with the lower specs, the lower RAM and storage is gonna be 730 bucks. The higher end version is gonna be 900 bucks. Which one should you go for? Again, I think as far as the core experience, you're gonna have the same across all of them. Daily life device, fantastic. It was absolutely phenomenal. I had a blast with it, right? As far as gaming, this is what I question. I don't know because I haven't used the higher end one. But again, Diablo being my primary game, having that stuttering, ruining that experience for me was a bummer. Maybe there's going to be an update coming out because I know it's not Diablo the game itself because I didn't get the stuttering on my iPhone. I just got it over here playing the same levels and everything right there, you know. So again, will the higher end version not have that stuttering? Will it be there an update for the phone? I don't know. Only time will tell. But right now... That was the biggest downfall with this device. But all in all, I had an absolute blast with it.